views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Welcome to Spiritual Diagnostics Radio. Psychic answers and spiritual solutions with psychic visionary and vibrational healers, Carol Dorian and Suzanne Evans, where you can call in and ask about your chakras, aura, and spiritual DNA. Tune in and discover the energy that is contradictive to your path of wholeness. Get ready to meet the most important person in your life. You. Hello, hello, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your host, Carol Dorian, and you're listening to Spiritual Diagnostics. Today, we are going to be discussing more about karma. In our last show, we talked about karma. We talked about the effects of karma. We talked about the meaning of karma. And in the show, I didn't feel that we had enough time to cover some very important portions of what karma is how it works, and the types of karma. So in today's show, we're going to go over the types of karma because saying the word karma and even having an understanding of the meaning is sort of like just scratching the surface of it. It doesn't even fully scratch the surface because it is so detailed There is so much depth to karma, especially when we go into the different types of karmic energy that exist and that can be held. So we're going to be discussing not only the types of karma that there are, but we're also going to touch on what activates these different types of karma. And once these types of karma are activated, how it is that they function in the energy field, the functioning that they create in our life, these types of karma, and what it is that some karmic energies restrict. We're also going to be touching on what it is that clears that type of energy, what needs to be identified, how it needs to be identified, and how to clear it. So for those of you who are listening to the show and finding yourself saying, I feel stuck in a certain area of my life. I feel blocked in achieving my health. I feel blocked in achieving a relationship. I feel blocked through my work. And I feel that there is a karmic residual, a karmic energy that is blocking me. You may be correct, but it is very important to know the type of karma that you're dealing with. And it's also important to have the understanding that karma is not always a punishment. And I know we talked about that in the last show, but it cannot be expressed enough because There are so many layers and it is so intricate of how the karmic energy interacts with the aura, with the chakras, and with us as individuals. And for those of you who are listening, if you have questions about any area of your life, feel free to call in at 1-800-930-2819 and ask your questions on the air. For those of you who would like to call after the show, please feel free to do so at 312-898-2285. That's 312-898-2285. Or log on to the site, spirituald.com. And this will give you information about different spiritual services 
And also, I'd like to tell you that for those of you who call in during or after the show, you're going to receive a complimentary full life reading. Also, you will receive a karmic path reading in combination with that. And this will let you know about the energy that you have received in this lifetime, energy that you have received in prior lifetimes, and how it's affecting your life. So let's get right into it, talking about the types of karma. First, I'd like to say, I'd like to touch on the power of karma and the true meaning. I'd really like to touch again on the true meaning. What is the meaning of karma? How does our aura react to karma? What does karma affect? These are commonly asked questions. Does karma mean punishment? Well, karma has no deadline. Death does not erase karma. It merely delays it. Everything we do in this life creates our outcomes in the next life. And everything we have done in the past lifetime has a karmic connection to this lifetime. So that brings us to the question, is karma a punishment? The answer is karma has a force of duality in the fact that it is always a lesson and a payback. At times, the payback side can be a punishment or a blessing, but the lesson is always included. So karma has many facets, and yes, there is the positive or negative payback, and then there is the unfinished business, something left undone, and we're going to be touching more on how that works. But before we do that, I would like to go into the types of karma that there is. And I'm going to be repeating these types of karma throughout the show and touching on more about them and how they work. There is Sanchita, which is the accumulated works. Then there is Praradva, which is the fruit-bearing works. There is Kriyamana, which is the current works. And these are taken from Sanskrit. These do come from Indian language and culture. The word karma comes from Indian language and culture. However, it is universal to every nationality through every type of human being. It is an energy that is not secluded to a religious belief, but it is a human function. So let's talk a little bit about Sanchita. And this is the accumulated work. What does the Sanchita karma affect? Physical and emotional health. This is the karma that is accumulated in the energy field that is going to connect to the way that we think, the way that we feel, the way that we view, and what is going on in the physical body. This type of karma also is in connection to the type of life partners that we draw in, their physical and emotional health, their way of feeling and viewing. So, so many of you out there can be saying, I keep drawing in the same type of people in my life with the same type of response. And this is connected to the Sanchita karma, the accumulated work. And let's touch on what that accumulated work connects to in the physical and in the emotional, depression, fibromyalgia, anxiety, and immune deficiencies. These are some of the few that the Sanchita karma connects to. So 
there are so many people that I have worked with who are saying, Carol, I'm eating right. I'm exercising. I'm meditating. I'm doing yoga. I'm releasing energy that I am aware of that needs to be released. Yet I'm not improving in my health or I am going through time periods where I do feel physically, emotionally, mentally better. And then I'm going right back into this pattern. And here is what that is. It is not a punishment, but it is accumulated energy of accumulated works. And sometimes it can come from people who have put a lot of energy out in their prior lifetimes, helping others medically, physically, mentally, emotionally, and their energy becomes drained. They have not restored their energy. So what happens is the karmic residuals of not taking care of oneself in a prior lifetime can also create these physical, mental, and emotional effects in the present lifetime. Another cause of this type of particular karma is untimely death in a prior lifetime. If a person has committed suicide in a prior lifetime or being connected to somebody that was very important to them that had an untimely death, an accidental death, or a suicide This creates the accumulated energy of physical and emotional depression, immune deficiencies, and other physical ailments. The positive side of Sanchita energy is that in this type of karma, when people have finished out certain aspects of their life and lived through very difficult points and periods that they felt were unbearable, or have rose above a certain temptation of not taking care of their self or giving into some type of dependency, when they rise above that, it is a stored karmic energy that is positive. So Sanchita karma can be positive. The type of Sanchita karma that I have worked with in releasing is negative. And in this type of work, We enhance the positive, we recognize the negative, touching on what it is that this karma is in the physical body to teach us, express to us, and what is the lesson, and then releasing, holding the lesson, releasing the effect, holding on to the lesson mentally and emotionally and spiritually, but releasing the negative effects of this karma. We are about to take a short break, and when we return, we're going to talk about the fruit-bearing works of karma and the current works of karma. So this is Praradhava and Kriyama as soon as we return. Thank you so much. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Chris Stainis is a spiritual leader and healer and teaches a course on how you can transform your life through a meditation and healing system that will manifest your spirit's dreams. She manifested the Women of Wisdom Conference, the Women of Wisdom book, and this radio show. And she can show you how to change your life, too. Are you ready? Visit the website and contact her at VoicesOfWomenToday.com. That's VoicesOfWomenToday.com. 
Tune in to Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly Neff. This hit show will illuminate your senses and empower you beyond your daily stressors and hardships. Renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly will captivate you with far-reaching topics and amazing guests as you wake to the greatest version of yourself. Learn to tap into your intuitions, think critically about our world, heal emotional and psychological wounds, and follow your passions to live your dreams. The Lucid Planet. Welcome home. Visit lucidplanetradio.com for more information. Are you feeling stagnant or blocked in your love life, career, health, or finances? Experiencing difficulty focusing or setting and achieving goals? Tune in to Spiritual Diagnostics Radio with psychic visionary healers Carol Dorian and Suzanne Evans. Discover the cause and effect of unwanted patterns in life. Tune in every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit spiritualdeed.com. Transformation Talk Radio is dedicated to the education and awareness of Lyme disease. Welcome to Lyme Talk Radio. I'm Dr. Pat Basile, the host of the Dr. Pat Show, and I am so thrilled that we've created this venue for all of you out there. Dr. Pat Basile will be bringing the most innovative, groundbreaking information, research, treatment innovations, and stories from those it affects every day. What we have heard is that you want to ensure for us that we keep positive, holistic, uplifting, transformative talk radio on the air. We're excited to bring you the contemporary conversations about Lyme disease. We promise not to let the light fade on Lyme. So fasten your seat belts. We've got lots more to share with you in the weeks to come. Tune into Lyme Talk Radio with Dr. Pat and help keep our mission strong on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Well, hello, and it's great to be back. We are here today talking about the types of karma, touching on these different types of karma, the effect that they have on the aura, the effect that they have on our lives as far as producing energy and as far as restricting energy. And before our break, we left off talking about Sanchita, the accumulated works of energy. And now we're going to be discussing Prarabdha. And this is your fruit bearing works. So the positive aspect of this karma is being centered and focused when it comes to learning, schooling, job, career feeling grounded and feeling very connected in our relationships, feeling secure in relationships, feeling the connection of communication, love, and understanding. So when this chakra is healthy, it is responsible for bearing fruit. I'm sorry, I meant to say when this karma is healthy, it is responsible for bearing fruit. The chakra that it connects to is the navel chakra. So through this, we're also going to be discussing the chakra that pra Rabada connects itself to, which is the navel energy. So again, it is loving, connecting, focusing. So the karmic energy needs to be clear of any type of unfulfilled duties, unfinished business, and abandonment issues. Abandonment issues, a situation in where we have been abandoned by a parent, a lover, a friend, a partner, in any sense of the word abandonment. And that can be in a present lifetime, and it can also be in the past lifetime. This is where it creates this type of karma. This is where it connects to the karma that is either going to bear fruit or stop that fruit bearing. So for those of you who are listening to this and saying, 
I'm having a very difficult time in my work environment. I feel that I'm meant to make a change and I feel stuck. I'm having a difficult time focusing. I'm having a difficult time drawing in the type of love that I desire. If it is connected to a karmic response in your energy field, it is definitely going to be the pra rabda karma that it is connecting to and that has created it. And that brings me to Kriyamana, and these are the current works. These are the present choices. This karma creates the ability to connect to the present choices, the choices that have effects on the future, the ability to make fulfilling decisions. So many of us are making decisions that we feel torn in life. Are we connecting to our life purpose, our fulfillment, our enjoyment, our happiness, or only our duty. So what needs to be happening is the balanced karma. This is where the choices that you are making tie into fulfilling your responsibilities. Unfulfilled responsibilities definitely create karmic residual. So this is, Kriyamana is achieved and obtained through living in the balanced karma. This is where lessons have been identified, lessons have been learned, understandings have been obtained and reached, and this is the goal. Throughout our lifetimes, as we are coming back We are coming back to fulfill. We are coming back to learn. We are coming back to evolve. We are coming back to reach higher levels of understanding and to help and assist the others that we connect with reach that help, that higher understanding, and reach that level of a clean karmic path because we are all connected. Does it mean that it is our duty to help somebody change their karmic path and pattern? Absolutely not. But each one of us in connection to each other, bring each other to a certain level of understanding, activating the ability to heal ourselves. So you have somebody in your life and you say, every time I'm around this person, I just feel like their energy is bringing me down, or I feel like when I'm around this person, I'm motivated, I feel happy. This is how our energy affects each other. Energy is also a form of karma. The energy that you are giving off and the energy that you are receiving does come from the portions of accumulated karma, fruit-bearing karma, and the karma of current works. So for those of you who are listening to this, feeling like you have a karmic residual or something in your life that you just cannot seem to get to the point of finishing and completing within yourself, within your relationships, within your connections to others, feel free to call in one 800 930 Two eight one nine. Again, it's one eight hundred nine three zero two eight one nine. Or call in after the show at three one two eight nine eight two two eight five. That's three one two eight nine eight two two eight five. And whether you call in during the show or after the show, you will receive your free full life reading combined with a karmic reading to let you know of the energy that you are containing karmically, spiritually in your aura, what it is that it's propelling and what it is that it could be restricting in your life. And that brings us to the point of karma is not always a restricting energy. It is definitely a fruit bearing energy. Understanding the lessons 
that you've already learned, understanding the lessons that you still need to learn, and also understanding why it is that you're repeating certain lessons will bring you into the understanding if you are in the accumulated karmic response the fruit-bearing karmic response, or the karmic response of your current works. And I'd like to go a little bit more into the karmic response of current works. This is where so many people become frustrated. This is where so many people feel stuck because currently in this lifetime, they are doing what it is that they need to be doing. And this is where we're saying, why am I not getting to where it is that I want to go? Why am I not reaching what it is that I'm aiming toward, yet I'm taking all of the steps to get there? You may be getting there. You just may not be getting there in the time that you have planned it. So when you are in the energy of your current works, when your karma, your aura, and your chakras are responding to the karma of current works, it doesn't mean that instantly everything just lines up perfectly. It does mean that you are on that path. But it's very important for the path to be identified. If you're on the path, if you're near the path, or if you're missing the path. Because some of us are in such close proximity of that path of balanced karma and receiving the benefits of our balanced karma. But we're just not aware that that is where we are. We're not aware of what has brought us there. And we're kind of missing the path. It's right in front of us, but we're taking the long route. So in this type of situation, we diagnose and we identify the energy, the karma that's being stored, the path that it has brought you to, and how far away you are from your path or how close you are to your path. And some of you will be so surprised to find that you are actually on the path. It's just a matter of understanding that that's where you're at. Because without that understanding, you will actually recalculate your route and send yourself in a complete other direction. So in karmic identification, that is where we come to the understanding of the type of karma, the path that we're on, and the path that we desire to be on. And for those of you listening, if you have any questions when we return, feel free to call in. We're getting ready to take a short break, and when we come back, we're going to touch more on current works and fruit bearing, what it is that you can do to open your field of healing and receiving and identifying the type of karma that your life is reacting to. Are you ready to stop stress, anxiety, and low self-esteem from running your life? Join award-winning author Dr. Friedemann Schaub for Empowerment Radio and learn breakthrough solutions to switch out of survival mode and approach every day with great ease, joy, and purpose. Tune in the first and third Wednesday at 11 a.m. Pacific to Empowerment Radio with host Dr. Friedemann Schaub on Transformation Talk Radio. Visit the fearandanxietysolution.com to learn more. There are so many resources out there for meditation. But did you know that Atana's Heart Earth Healing Meditation is available for you for free? Yes, that's right. You can receive this free healing meditation today from Atana Vadili. All you need to do is visit his website, atanamethod.com. That's A-T-A-A-N-A method.com and sign up. You will receive your free meditation instantly. That's atanamethod.com. Hi, this is Leslie Fontaine, and my show is Sheer Alchemy on TransformationTalkRadio.com. When we're bogged down with our emotions, the hardships that plague us in our relationships, at work, 
our finances, we literally can't see the higher plane where we could be operating from. Tune in to Leslie Fontaine, Share Alchemy on TransformationTalkRadio.com. What if your body and mind were the compasses to the secrets, mysteries, and magic of life? Glenna Rice, co-host of The Questionable Parent, is inviting you to access all that is possible. Glenna is a 10-year certified veteran access consciousness facilitator who offers an amazing variety of life-changing classes and workshops. Work with Glenna from anywhere with teleclasses and workshops all over the globe. To learn more and see Glenna's current schedule of events, classes, and workshops, visit GlennaRice.com. Are you feeling stagnant or blocked in your love life, career, health, or finances? Experiencing difficulty focusing or setting and achieving goals? Tune in to Spiritual Diagnostics Radio with psychic visionary healers Carol Dorian and Suzanne Evans. Discover the cause and effect of unwanted patterns in life. Tune in every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit spiritualdeed.com. How would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. Well, hello, everybody. It's good to be back here on Spiritual Diagnostics talking about the types of karma, the type of energy that is circulating through the karma that is stored by situations that we have endured in present lifetimes and past lifetimes and identifying that not all karma is created equal Not all karma is coming from the same place. Not all karma affects the same areas of life. So when we left off, we were talking about the current works. This is Kriyamana, the current works, and it is the present choices. I'm going to touch back on that a little bit. This is a lot of times referred to as instant karma. This is the instant daily karma that is being created in this lifetime for the future. The way that our thoughts and actions in this lifetime will affect our future life and our incarnation. So Kriya Mana can be altered by correct attitude as well as by particular rights. So what does that mean? Excuse me. Some of us have learned very valuable lessons and have made amazing progress, but we're not giving ourselves recognition for that. Some of us are feeling unworthy of that recognition, and some of us just simply are not aware of how far we have come. So it's very important in the karmic energy that connects to current works when identifying where we are at through the process of the spiritual karmic release and identification work, what we do is we locate where it is that you are at in your karmic cycle. And so many people that I have worked with are actually in the phase of the current works, releasing what needs to be released identifying what needs to be identified is where they are not. So they're not really understanding that they've completed their cycle. For those of you who are in that phase and on that path, my work would be to introduce you to what it is that you have achieved and accomplished that you are aware of in this lifetime, as well as the things that you may not be aware of from prior lifetimes. 
this is where we look back into your past life and we're seeing where you've been, what you've done, what you've accomplished and where it's brought you to. Through that recognition and through that understanding, this is where your balanced karma is activated. Many of you have balanced karma but have not activated it simply because you are not aware of it. And that depletes or takes away from the activation. So sometimes the spiritual work is just a matter of bringing in the awareness of your achievements. Then there are people that I am working with who are not aware of what it is that they need to activate and what they need to achieve as a whole. And this is where this area becomes stagnant. And so what it's drawing in is present choices that are temporary. For example, people who feel like they cannot stay in one living location, a constant urge to move, instability in making choices of simple things such as unpacking, putting things away. I have also seen it very connected to hoarding disorder. If this type of karma is not in the balanced aspect, the current works, it does affect a person's living space and ability to function in their living environment, ability to function in working environment, ability to function in any environment that life takes us in. So what do I suggest for this? It all goes back to identification. I have seen people who are where they need to be and simply by understanding it and knowing what it is that brought them into the awareness of where they need to be, it has activated the flow of balance. Balance is something that karma is connected to. Again, it's not always a lesson. It is not always a situation where you've done something wrong and it's coming back to you in the negative sense. It's always the lesson in the fact of you take away learning something good, evolving to a higher level, even if you had to learn that good thing through a negative situation. But it is not always the lesson in the form of something that has been created negative. It can also be the lesson in what has been created for the best and the best things that you have done and what it is that you have learned to take you to that level of, I am where I need to be. So when we are in the Kriya Mana, the energy of current works. If I have to sum it up, I'm going to say it is understanding what you have learned and it will connect you to the choices and the effects that you are making. Does this mean that each and every person who is making a choice or a decision, that they are making it based on something that they have done in another lifetime, or that they are making it based on a lesson? No. It does not mean that. Sometimes confusion of the present moment does not even allow us to access that energy that connects us to what's already been learned or what we've already done. And this is where when you come into the understanding of your achievements, you can reverse the accumulated karma which connects to the physical and emotional health, if it is in a negative sense, it can be reversed. The fruit-bearing karma, if you feel that you are not bearing your fruits according to the life that you're living, according to the efforts that you're placing in life, this can be reversed. So these two karmas, the accumulated and the fruit-bearing, will always tie us into current works, meaning the present choices. It will always bring us to the point of what was sometimes needs to be separated from what is. 
What does that really mean? It means that whatever it is that you have been through, if you have already learned the lesson of it and are not acknowledging what you've learned, that in itself can cause you to be repeating a karmic cycle. So yes, it's learning a lesson, but it's also recognizing and understanding, acknowledging lessons that have already been learned. And I cannot stress that enough because this is where we are saying, I have graduated. And the mindfulness of identification, the mindfulness of saying, I have completed this, it creates our life to follow that flow, to say I've graduated to the next level. So what is the aspect of positive karma? Does it mean that everything around you is going to flow perfectly? No. But what it does mean is that where you are meant to be, you're going to recognize it and fulfill it, receiving the personal fulfillment of living in your duties, receiving the happiness of connecting through love, understanding not only where you are, but where you want to be. The aspects of the negative karma are repeating lessons. The aspects are not understanding where, you're, where you are at this point in your energy field and feeling stuck. So if you were in a relationship in a past lifetime and it ended badly because of things that you did or didn't do, and you're bringing that energy forward, yes, you're going to be reliving that. But through identifying it, you can shut down the repeating cycle. And that's what this is really about. It's tuning out and disconnecting from what has been learned, and it is connecting to what has not been learned through the different types of karma, the accumulated, the current, and the fruit-bearing. And as people, what do we really want to do? We want to bear fruit through love, through peace, through happiness, financial fulfillment. We want to have good physical, emotional, and mental health. And so many of us, are on the path to taking that so far and then stopping and starting over. And if this is something that you feel in your life, that you get close to this and then you're stopping, starting over or cannot reach it, sometimes it is an unidentified karmic residual. It can be something, again, that has already been understood and reached and it just needs to be identified. But whatever portion your karmic energy is functioning in, whether it is the accumulated, the fruit bearing, or the current works, through identifying how that energy is working, what stage you are in, you can absolutely shift that energy. And you can actually transform the energy through a pureness that is applied through understanding. The understanding allows the purification to come in. Once the purification comes in to the karmic energy, it is going to release what is not serving you from your karmic path, and it is going to hold on to the lessons that place you on the path that you desire to be on. We are going to return after this short break, touching more about living in the karma that you desire. What is a brilliant culture and how do we create them? Why are they important? Claudette Rowley has created a breakthrough five-step process to help you design a culture that is authentic, innovative, and successful. 
Learn how to create change with Cultural Brilliance Radio, the DNA of organizational excellence, and Claudette Rowley. To learn more or work with Claudette, visit ClaudetteRowley.com. Are you feeling stagnant or blocked in your love life, career, health, or finances? Experiencing difficulty focusing or setting and achieving goals? Tune in to Spiritual Diagnostics Radio with psychic visionary healers Carol Dorian and Suzanne Evans. Discover the cause and effect of unwanted patterns in life. Tune in every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit spiritualdeed.com. Get into it for 2016. Do you want more prosperity, clarity, energy, and balance in your life? Join Lynn Brown now for one of her amazing workshops, each focusing on a key part of living your best life. For more information and to register for one of these amazing workshops, visit lynnbrownevent.com. That's lynnbrownevent.com. And get into it this 2016 with Lynn Brown. Do you want to achieve your goals? Do you want to strengthen relationships with others? Do you want to improve your financial status? Colette Marie Steffen is partnering with Mark Kettenbach to bring you an energetic upgrade online experience. Unfold and develop your full potential. Visit energeticupgrade.com today for more information. That's energeticupgrade.com. Wow. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Uh, welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. I'm telling you, I got to pinch myself some days because when each of us gets called to do something that we so not thought was in our real house to do for a purpose that's so much greater than us, we get to show up and shine. If you would like to show up and shine on the Dr. Pat Show as a co-host or sponsor, send us an email to inspire at the com. Dr. Brie Gibbs is a fourth-generation high priestess with the knowledge to raise your vibration in conscious creation. Offering a wide variety of services from goddess light and shamanic healing seminars to private reading sessions, Brie works with you so you too can stand in your own power. Isn't it about time you took your life into your own hands? For more information about Brie's services and products, visit silvergaia.net. That's silver, G-A-I-A dot net. Well, we are back. It is so good to be back. We're here talking about karma, the types of karma, how it affects our life, what it means, accumulated, fruit-bearing, and current works. And before we left off, I was talking about the karma that we desire to live in. Each and every one of us, we're desiring to receive good energy because of good energy that is put out. So what is it that we are truly, truly in need of? What do we need to access to tap into the good karma? Because so many of us, each and every one of us actually, are not perfect. Everybody has made mistakes. Is that to say that Every mean word that has ever been said in an argument, every painful experience that we've experienced or put somebody through, that we are prisoners by these experiences and they're just going to keep replaying themselves and they're just going to keep returning in our life as these situations that have to be lived out. That is really not always the case. And I hear so many negative teachings on karma describing it that way. Yes, we are responsible for our actions. And everything that we're putting out there absolutely is going to be returning to us on a certain level. But once an action, a negative action, has been turned away from, you can recreate energy. You can transform the energy. And how that energy looks and feels when it's recreated and transformed, it feels like balance. 
And what does it look like? It looks like love. It feels like love. It looks like peace. It feels like peace. It is happiness. And this is absolutely obtainable, even for people who have made very regretful choices in life, mistakes, or the feeling of I have harmed someone and I wish I could take it back, whether it was physically, whether it was emotionally, there is forgiving. There is an opening of the karmic connection that says, I now wish to transfer the unfortunate deeds, the painful experiences, whether I have inflicted them upon someone or they have been inflicted upon me, I wish to transfer these into the light, acknowledging lessons that I've learned, taking myself to a graduating level. And sometimes this cannot be done on our own because it's very difficult for us to be objective to ourselves. So in a karmic energy reading, what I am doing is leading you to your experiences with an outside view, identifying your phase of karma, what type of karma you're holding, identifying what needs to be kept and what needs to be released. And through karma release and through karmic identification, this is where we are obtaining the information that we need to break ground, stagnant ground that is holding us back or having us living in repeated lessons. There are so many of you out there who have completed and accomplished so many levels of your spiritual understanding, lessons, and depths, but yet you feel like you're still going through the same processes. Once your attention is turned toward your achievements, accomplishments, it'll also be turned toward what is still left for you to achieve. What is the mark that you're missing, if any? Once you come into this understanding, being open to yourself, forgiving to yourself, and kind to yourself, handling yourself with love through the recognition of your karmic path you will receive your light and your healing. I would love to assist and talk to any of you who need light, direction, and acknowledgement into your karmic path and patterns and identifying the type of karmic energies you are containing. So feel free to call after the show at 312-898-2285 where I will offer you the guidance and assistance that you need to touch these types of karmic residuals, paths, patterns, and accomplishments. Touch them, identify them, and recognize them. Each and every one of you are holding the key to your own healing. Sometimes we just need someone to help lead us guide us and direct us to where we are storing these abilities. Your healing, your answers, the change that you desire is within you. It's like a little toolbox. You have all of the tools. You just need to find and access where you've been storing them and how to use them. Karma can be rectifying Karma can feel a little dark and negative at times, but the beauty of karma is that it can also be restoring, it can be rewarding, and it can be completely transforming once you know the type and the cause of what it is that's been flowing in your life karmically. So again, for those of you who have been listening, feel free to call 312-898-2285 or log on to the site spirituald.com. It has been so wonderful sharing with each and every one of you how karma works, what it means to us as individuals. You can take so many situations of your life 
And if you really look back at them, you will realize you have learned, you have achieved, and you have healed. And it can just be a matter of taking the healing that you've already experienced and spreading it to other areas of your life that may not be receiving the benefit of it by the simple acknowledgement of understanding what it means and where it's coming from. And that is what spiritual diagnostics is all about. It's been wonderful sharing with all of you. Till next time, light, love, and blessings. You've been listening to Spiritual Diagnostics on Transformation Talk Radio. Namaste. You've been listening to Spiritual Diagnostic Radio, Psychic Answers and Spiritual Solutions with Carol Dorian and Suzanne Evans, diagnosing the spiritual cause of unwanted life patterns. For more information on your favorite healers, visit spirituald.com and tune in every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio to receive your weekly dose of enlightenment.